I moved to Japan, real Japan, to live out my dreams. And it turned out to be so awful that I'm making this a hate video and pivoting the channel. Yep, say hola to Hosen learn Spanish. Okay, kidding. But it did take everything I've expected since childhood and completely shatter it. I've wanted to live in Japan for a long time, but all dreams start somewhere. And for me, that place was one piece. I loved the show as a kid, but I had one problem with it. When I first watched, the dubbed and subbed versions had a gap of 300 episodes. All I had left was a mountain of episodes in Japanese. And there's no way I was reading subtitles. Yet. There was only one thing to do. Learn Japanese. And knowing nothing, I chose Rosetta Stone. After dipping that toe, I was hooked on Japan. I wanted to know all about what it meant to live there. And thanks to OG Japan tubers, I was able to get regular bits of Japanese culture. I mean, it was supposedly clean, safe, and everything was shiny and interesting. Gradually, I began to feel a passion well up within me. The desire to move to Japan. Being the oblivious teen I was, I didn't even know what that passion meant or if I would take action on it. All I knew was that it was there, and I would learn what that meant the hard way. December 2023. A year had passed since I graduated college and none of my independent ventures had really panned out. Yet, I decided to start a YouTube channel about Japan. It would help me commit to my longest held dream, to move there. So, I decided to make the move. The main obstacle was simple, get a visa. And I had a few choices, get a job, go to school, or marry an unsuspecting victim. A-L-T. The three magic letters for anyone that wants to move to Japan. That's right, I decided a role as an assistant language teacher would be my saving grace. Sometime later, I landed a job with a famous company. Time to buy that plane ticket. One 26 hour journey later, and I'd finally made it. A couple hours of wandering later, I was finally able to enter my room and relax, or at least escape the stress. I moved through the next few weeks with the unmoving feeling that something was off. Maybe it's just jet lag or Maybe Japan isn't for me. This was it. All of my being had led up to this, living in Japan. So why was it so painful? As I spent my birthday alone in my hotel, I had to think. The city was so clean, yet I had to carry trash everywhere. And everything worked so well, but each process had a dozen tiny steps. And the people were polite, but could also be very judgmental. Still, life always comes with challenges. These just aren't ones I'm used to, right? That's it, I'm leaving Japan. This is too much for me. The only way to get rid of this feeling is to go back home. No, no turning back. I can't just throw away my dreams for nothing. So why do I feel this way? Well, maybe it's not Japan, maybe it's me. No, it can't be me. I was just fine in the States. I was just fine before the move started to stress me out. Stress. Maybe that's the cause of my troubles. Maybe that's the reason I feel closer and closer to the edge. Still, these challenges may have chipped away at my will to stay, but it was always up to me to surmount them, to see this through, to finally make my dreams real. That's it. I know what I have to do. This scene is so beautiful. Look at this. The water. And there's just this terrifying fall.